Ladies and gentlemen, please be upstanding for the national anthem of the glorious United States of America. Welcome back, one and all. This is episode 136, and we're still beta 1.5. And I'm not quite sure what we're going to do this episode, but one thing I do want to do is go over to the spider farm and just show off what I was experimenting with off camera. Um, Basically, as you know, we were having issues with spiders being spiders and, you know, climbing about and not going where we wanted them to and tracking the player and all that. So I tried one or two things that I thought might help. Now, obviously... I did a bit of research, but some of the stuff I looked at was either outdated or it spoke about spiders in the future in terms of beta 1.5. Oh no! I completely forgot about this. Thankfully I've got a weapon this time. Last time all I had was a bucket of lava. Oh dear. No, we can't do this. We're going to have to do something ra radical. Right. No, okay, never mind. That kind of failed. Okay, that kind of worked. <laughs> kind of. I did get damaged a bit and I don't have any food. But we did get free gunpowder. Anyway. There is more mobs up here, isn't there? Yep, there's a skeleton. There's a creeper. Ah, yeah, two creepers. I think the damage on some of uh, the weapons in the game have got, has gone up. Because I can now three hit creepers with a stone sword. Anyway, as you can see, we've got spiders up there. Um, I tried out... Well, basically, I finished this area. I made all of the... I put in all of the lava lighting. Added all the blocks that were missing. I was experimenting with uh, soul sand. I got rid of the water. I was trying to make it so they wouldn't, like, be able to climb back up. Unfortunately, I think they can. See? That guy's making a bit of an effort. He's struggling. Oh, we need to keep that on so we can see them. Yeah, I got rid of the glass because I thought they were climbing up the glass. But as you can see, they are doing a good job of climbing up the soul sand. I did watch one video of a guy that had a setup similar to this. Uh, not exactly the same, obviously. But the spiders weren't able to climb out. Or the one spider that was in it. What I could do is maybe make it a bit bigger, the tube. See if that helps. But ultimately, I'm not sure. Well... We'll expect, we can experiment with it more, but that's what I've got going at the minute. It doesn't look that good, but if it works, well, that's all I care about, really. So one other thing I want to show off is something you may have seen in previous episodes. Uh, I actually built it in a previous episode, but I uh, cut it because the episode was either too long or I think it was because the footage of me doing it was a bit too boring. Uh, as you can see, we've got this thing here. To give you a bit of uh, context, the city is over there. But, this is supposed to be an aqueduct. I was trying to experiment with it. I thought it looked okay at first. It, it really doesn't. Um, but, I think I'm on the right lines, especially for the supports. An aqueduct something I might look to build in future. This was just a kind of prototype or a, a first draft. or I was just trying to get a feel for how big it might need to be. And I like the look of it when I'm standing over there. Like, when I'm looking at it side on. Or not side on, but straight on. However, from the side, it doesn't look so good. Yeah, see, I don't think it looks too bad. It's a nice height. So, we may attempt to build an aqueduct in future, um, but 100% not right now. Not until I've uh, figured things out. We may end up waiting for a future update when there's more blocks and all that, but, well, we can't wait forever. So, maybe sooner rather than later. So, one idea for a project I had was it was it's really rather dumb, and it's something that... If I was playing in beta 1.5 underscore 01 at the time it was out, no other version, well, obviously the past versions, but no future versions were out, no one knew what was coming, you wouldn't have built this. But because we've got the benefit of hindsight, it might be worth building. Basically, I've got loads and loads and loads of uh, pork chops saved up in these chests. What I was thinking is, because we don't have any space for any more, 
we could build some sort of a storage system with minecarts. So basically you press a button, minecart would go and store itself somewhere and then when it came to beta 1.8, which is when hunger comes out, when food stacks for the first time in the game, apart from obviously you can stack cookies uh, in this version, but for all other foods that's the first version that you can stack food. When it came to that we could go and, uh, you know, break all the storage minecarts and get loads and loads of food that we can stack up because at the minute well there's not enough storage up here that's the point uh, how would we do it I'm not overly sure I think what I would do is have the system go down there and then maybe store itself somewhere under the ocean the problem is though if we use it quite extensively then there's going to be a bit of lag just a bit of entities I mean there's already 200 and something entities in the area that's that, that's probably a warning. That probably means we shouldn't have any more. But we can uh, we can wait and see. Maybe we can just store it in ordinary chests. I don't know. Um, I believe chests at the moment count as full blocks. In modern versions, they count as well. They they cause more lag. Maybe they always cause have caused lag. But I think it's because of the items that are stored inside is what causes the lag. I I don't know. Anyway, let's let's give it a go. Okay, let's let's give it a go. It's worth a try. It's a unique build because obviously, as I said, we've got the benefit of hindsight, and uh, it, it might be worth it in future. And there's the jingle. That's that's become more worthwhile. Obviously, the more times gone on. Right, I think what we'll do is we've got a bit of space around here. Although there's no real way to get round here without going round a very awkward way. So what we could do is... Yeah, I think I think we'll, we'll, we'll start it here. We'll start it here so that the start of the track will be here. Uh, let's put some of that in place. And then... Let's put a power rail there. And this is going to be where it starts, basically. And then... Then we just need to go down. We're going to have a spiral track that goes down there. I think that'll work. Can we land the MLG water drop? <laughs> yeah, anyway. Um, so, now what we're looking at... Well, actually, yeah, see the problem is the mob system's down there, so we're going to have to, like, put it off to the side. I'm not, I'm not quite sure where the edge of the mob system is. I think it's... Well, in relation to over there, it should be here. So as, lo as long as we go beyond the lava, we're all good. Um, so yeah, let's get the spiral, uh, the spiral track up here. An entry point can be here, I guess. I don't see any reason why not. The problem is, well, it's not. No, it's not a problem. The problem is tracks behave differently when, well, when ascending and on a corner. Okay, at this point, we're probably going to have to start laying down the track just to see if it works. Um, it should work. Right? There we go. Ah. My mistake. <laughs> it probably won't. I, I did it wrong. I need, probably need to replace one or two pieces of track just so it works. So yeah, it can't curve and ascend all in a one-er. That's not possible. So we need to lower these blocks by one in order to make it work. Let's go back down, give it a try, and it's turning night, of course it is. I hate how it doesn't link up, it's like you've got to place the elevated track, like, independently, like that. That's really strange, I wonder if that's just a bug, or if it was an intended feature. There we go, that should be the entire track placed. And see, this is the problem, I've got so much pork chops, so many pork chops that I'm not able to uh, store them easily. Alright, so can we actually, what well, we can walk down here, that's good. Um, we might need some glowstone or something. Oh, that's a torch. Not a torch, sorry, a, a lever. I don't have any torches. Um, right, well, what, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave that. Uh, we need a button. I don't a actually have a button. Okay, so this is where we're going to hopefully have the tracks go under the ground. Yeah, actually, I, I really do need torches. I've not been carrying torches for the last few episodes because I've not needed them. But I do need them now, well and truly. Right, yeah, we'll go down here. And it should be very simple. 
This is not a difficult project, believe you me. Like, anyone can do this. If you fancy doing it, you can do it as well. Although, if you're playing 1.14, there's less of a need because food stacks. Right, so this is where we're going to go down to. Just, uh, just down here. This is where we're going to put the storage area. Down at minus X minus 20, which is here. So all that should be cobblestone. And then this is a drop right here. And, um, should we just dig straight down and go for it? Should probably check it out first, see if it's alright. Good thing is, I don't think we'll need power rails, other than the one at the start. Um, but the idea is, like, this isn't a difficult project. Anybody can, can do this. It's going to be very, um, resource intensive in terms of iron for uh, minecarts. But, hopefully that won't... Well, hopefully it doesn't put me off too much. Okay, so what I've done is I've dug, uh, I've, well, all the way down to bedrock. And we've got a bit of an access area via the mob system. Just in case, just in, things, uh, just in case we need to do maintenance or whatever. I'm not sure if I've said already, but this is a real easy project. Very simple. Anyone can do it. Probably doesn't even deserve it. It's probably what I should have done off camera, but whatever. Anyway, um... Oh, I was going to bring more, I was going to bring more, what do you call it, half slabs to half slab this corridor here. But we'll get that in a moment. Um, let's keep digging down, and it goes all the way down to Y5, although we'll say Y6, because obviously that's our head level. Also, another reason, another way you can tell this is my eye level or head level is whenever I uh, crouch, it changes. Never noticed that. Well, I have, but this is the first time I'm saying it to you on camera, I think. Maybe not, I don't know. Anyway, let's uh, let's dig back up. Uh, we're just going to leave a door here, just in case. Well, actually, the door's there mainly to... Actually, you know what? Let's put the door up one. Up here. Put it here, put that there. That should be fine. And then we, we just need some more... Half slabs. But yeah, that's just to stop them from accidentally catching on here. But yeah, we'll keep that closed at all times. And now, it's time to test it. Yeah, the only issue is if we come down here, we're going to get spiders tracking me. Okay, what we need... Well, we need a few things. First of all, we need a lot of iron to make the minecarts. We also need some logs. Two stacks, I think, of logs. And this will be used to, obviously craft the chests that will be used for the storage minecarts. We're going to make 64. Just a full 64, because why not? We've got the resources. <laughs> I'll just have to go get some more, because we'll probably run out soon. Right, here we go. Put that there. And the good thing is, what we can do is just take this, well, it's going to be a lot, well, it's going to be very difficult if there's loads of stuff in the, um, in the system. But all we need to do is just that. Do we have a button? I don't think we've got a button. Oh yeah, we need to craft the minecart first. Do that. Do that. There's just so much, isn't there? This is why it's a good investment. We need to put all that in. All of it. Oh, have we done it all? Yeah, we got rid of it all. Now, let's craft ourselves a button. Bung it there. Oh, legendary. Come on, surely, surely you can make it over that. No! What? No way! Okay, well, that's awkward. Guess we're going to need another power rail or something. Right, we're going to do, do this again, okay? We're going to do it again. Can we place that there? Oh, come on. There we go. Get that back on the track. Just get that back into position. Oh, yeah, we need to... Uh Add the lever, which we'll just put on this side. There we go. Right, that's all full. And down it goes. And I'm not going to be able to catch up with it. Did it go all the way down? Yep, looks like it. Okay, cool, cool. So that's the whole point of this uh, project. Is it pointless? Kind of. I would call it resourceful, but it's a matter of uh, matter of opinion. Now we're going to try and remove all of the pork chops from these chests here because they don't belong here. 
It belongs in a museum. Sorry, just uh, Indiana Jones came to mind there. Great film. Uh, or great series of films. Let's try it again. I don't know why I'm so enthused by such a simple thing. Oh, could you not bump me, please? I think we'll need one or two, more than a few. And the, the other reason we're doing this is because I've kind of blocked up some of the tunnel down below, so we're trying to just see if it still works. Alright, on we go. There it goes. Does it make it all the way? I don't think we'll be able to tell because I can't even make move. Uh, yeah, looks like it. Cool. So I went and put some glass around the rail track. I think it looks better that way. Uh, there is a gap here which I guess we could fill in if we so desired. And I might. But uh, what I am doing at the moment is crafting a stack of fishing rods. We're going to put one stack in the museum. And then we're going to put, we're going to hold on to another two stacks just in case we get around to auto fishing later. Now, the thing is, auto fishing doesn't come around m until much, much later. Well, I think you could technically do it uh, now, but the problem is you'd have to fill up your inventory instead of a hopper because obviously they don't exist. Uh, however, by the time of 1.5, obviously that's when hoppers come around. Um, but then it's not until 1.7 when fishing actually gives you more than you know, just fish. So, there you go. So we'll leave two stacks of fishing rods in there and we'll see if they survive the test of time. We've got 17 in there as well. And then we're going to take this stack and put it in the museum at some point in future. So I found another area of uh, frozen biomes. We are currently, well, 4,000 blocks from 00, zero in the Z axis and 1,000, oh look, a brown shape and 1,000 in the X. I'm actually just having a look around, I was just doing a bit of exploring, trying to load as much of the pause pause terrain as possible. Kind of cheaty, but there's more diamonds in these areas and so, you know, if I need diamonds in future I'll probably come here and get them. But yeah, there's a, a vast area of, well, frozen sea, frozen ocean. It looks pretty neat. You can see there's, or well, I saw some mobs below the surface just over there. But yeah, currently I'm just wandering around, having a look, trying to see if uh, there's anything interesting to see. Other than this, of course. We're not going to be finding any uh, generated structures. I was kind of hoping to find a dungeon, but you kind of have to be underground to find those. Oh, Jinx, look at that. Did they spawn on snow or did they spawn where the flowers were? I'm not sure, but that was interesting. Yeah, you can see there's quite a few... Uh, mobs underground. This lighting thing's quite interesting with the uh, the ice and all that. There's, uh, looks like there's more biomes over there that are less frozen. Less of the frozen variants. This would be epic if it was all just completely frozen, but obviously this counts as just regular ocean or something, or maybe it's freezing over. Will it continue freezing? I think it's I think that counts as like a different biome maybe. It's interesting stuff though. But yeah, I've not really well I have come across biomes like this in the past, but did that wait did, did, did that guy spawn an ice? He can't have spawned an ice, he must have spawned in Yeah, some of the snowy grass over there. Anyway, yeah. It's interesting stuff really. I'm probably going to turn around and head back my uh, portals this way. But I just thought we'd show this off because it's uh, not something that I've come across all that often. I really just want to find an area where it's just completely frozen. I feel like that would be epic. The thing is though, if we upgrade to newer versions, I, I believe the biomes change so that this will no longer be frozen. That's what I've heard anyway. We should actually collect some clay. I don't have enough of this. Look at this really epic hill with some Christmas trees at the top, or spruce trees, wh whichever you prefer. <laughs> but it looks pretty neat. Could build another ruin up there. That's what it reminds me of anyway. Reminds me of the hill close to our beta base. Okay, so I found a spawner here. 
I'm hoping to... Well, it's a spider one. It's very, very close to the surface. Let's get some torches on our bar. Get rid of that guy. Get rid of this guy, hopefully. Hopefully there's some cocoa beans. No, no cocoa beans. We did get another bucket, though. Uh, let's uh, eat some food. And what do we not need? We should have eaten the bread. We don't need the string. Oh no! I don't even know where I was. The good thing was I turned my cords on so I should be able to find my stuff. Well, I'm well and truly lost. How can I get lost? Well, I got my stuff back, that's the main thing, but I managed to lose myself. I think we're actually supposed to be going that way, but I've been travelling this way for a while. I came to this massive desert. The interesting thing is there does look like there's a few chunk errors. That's what I think they are, but we're going to go and check them out. But yeah, this is a pretty substantial desert. Where do we go for my original idea? Because my original idea was to go to a desert and build a uh, build an animal farm. Check out that. Oh wait, no, maybe... Oh no! This could be where old terrain meets new terrain, maybe? Because look, there's a massive chunk error there. We're approaching um, the 1000, 1000 area. Whoa, look at that. Yeah, that'll be old terrain and all that. I'm guessing. I didn't know it could do stuff like this. That's incredible. Then again, the old terrain was generated using... It was just individual chunks. Still a wee bit crazy to think about, but there you go. So this is clearly where... The uh, yeah the the old alpha terrain starts possibly or maybe it's just some glitched out rubbish I don't know. Either way, I have no idea what I'm doing or where I'm going. I'm trying to get to one of the x coordinates, uh, not the x coordinates, sorry zero coordinates, but I don't know which one's the right one. We're about to see what a thousand a thousand looks like. But yeah, I had other plans for this episode, but it turns out the rest of this episode will be me trying to find my way. Now, I know what you're thinking, I could just go to zero zero, but I don't want to load more of the land than needs to be loaded. Uh, let's hop down here. And the problem is, I don't even remember the coordinates of my base, I don't remember if it's 2000 zero or zero 2000. <laughs> so, <laughs> you may think that's sad, but genuinely, I have no idea where I am. Um, we're basically in the middle of the two at a thousand, a thousand. Is it turning night? It should be turning night soon. If the sun's setting there, in theory, oh, we can work out from the sunset. I think it's zero two thousand, so I think we've got to go this way. Would that make sense? Yeah, I think we've got to go this way, right. Okay. I think I figured things out. I still don't understand this, though. This is very, very peculiar. Thankfully that one block high water saved me. S broke my fall. So yeah, I'm guessing this is older terrain. Wait, hang on. Wait, that can't be older terrain though, because that looks like it's biome based. Then so does this. Okay, that, that must be over older terrain over there. I don't know where that would go though. I don't remember coming this far out. What could that be? No idea. It's probably what I went exploring. We're in the pause pause quadrant. Yeah, I'm guessing I did a bit of exploring there or thereabouts. We've got some more cool mountains up ahead. I don't know if these have been generated or not. I'm guessing they have been. It's very, very peculiar. I wonder if any of the terrain was like changed or edited during my issues with uh, Ethos World and upgrading to 1.3, beta 1.3. Hmm. Anyway, we're going to crash land here and continue on foot in the morning. IRL, not IRL, sorry, in, in, in the Minecraft morning that is. Well, I think I've, I've certainly loaded enough terrain, more terrain than I wanted to load, that's for sure. You might be wondering why I'm loading the terrain and now it's because in beta 1.6 the maths error is fixed and ore spawns are more evenly distributed per quadrant so you no longer get an advantage by caving in pause pause 
Um, and so that's why I'm loading up so many chunks is so that, uh, well, so that in future we can come back to these 1.5 quadrants and um, we can cave and get more diamonds than we would. That's what I'm hoping anyway. I, I assume that's going to be the case. Man, we've got, we got a long, long way to go. It's even longer just by walking. It'd be nice if we came across a decent sized body of water. I vaguely know, I vaguely recognise this place. I feel like we've been here before. But I'm going to keep going in a, well, diagonal trajectory or a, in, a, in a diagonal direction. It's very, it seems very familiar. I feel like I came here possibly when we were exploring for um, desert areas to get uh, sand from big hill over there. Just saw it uh, poking out of the fog line. Oh, I kind of want to go check it out now because it looked really epic. Let's go and have a peek. That's actually really cool. There's a floating tree next to a tree on top of a, a lone hill. And there's so much clay as well. Should I pick it up? I really should. I just don't think I've got the inventory space. There was more back there as well. Is that tree actually floating? I think it's on top of a dirt block. We're going to check it out. Yeah, look at that. So it's like one lone hill with a lone tree on top. And then there's a tree, a floating tree next to it. Although the floating tree is obviously on a single dirt block. But that is, that is incredible. We should save the, cor uh, the coordinates as well. What's that? 500, 1.5k. Oh yeah, let's, let's get right up close and see what it's like. I remember that was one of the criticisms of the change of, uh, well, the, the way they changed the generation in beta 1.8 was, you know, well, it was perceived that you no longer got stuff like this. I'll take a screenshot of it further away. But that looks pretty cool. Uh, let's drop down here and make a... We're, we're going to take a boat away because... I'm tired. I'm, I'm, I'm too tired. My legs are too tired now. We're, we're going to hopefully get away from here a little bit quicker. Given we've got an expanse of water ahead of us. Got a nice area over there too. I, I, I could build here. I mean, there's so many places I could build in this area. In this uh, world, sorry. It's just, or, or this version in general. The terrain is actually really, really cool. There we go. Get another screenshot. And, uh, and yeah, let's head for the hills. Head for home. So I think we just need to go this way. And slightly that way. So we should definitely check out over here. Check this area out and see if we uh, can get a through road. Don't think so. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. We've got to go check that out. Is that like an overhang with a waterfall? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm I'm too interested now. It's, it's just past midday. We got time. We got time before we got to be back. Looks like an interesting biome actually. The the mountain side, the hillside on the other side, didn't have uh, grass in all all of the blocks, which was interesting. We should actually save our boat because I can't be bothered building another one. So yeah, we got a pretty neat overhang there. Then if we go here, yeah, look at this. A waterfall goes through an overhang. It's shrubland, effectively. That's what it is. Got a bit of a desert over there. Yeah, what in the world? It's just so cool. This area is just so cool. Anyway, uh, yeah, we'll keep going on foot, I guess. I know I was saving the boat for a return journey, but I don't think we're going to find a way through. We might as well see how this interacts or interconnects to our own area where we're building currently. Uh, actually, yeah, we've got to go this way for about 600 blocks. So it's, it's about 600 blocks to the east. I, can't, I can never remember if the sun sets in the north or in the south. Well, it looks like we've been here before. There's a lot of the alpha trees are uh, kicking around. We're nearly home. Actually, I think we are home. We just... The, the ruins should be right over there. I recognise this place. So it's not actually that far away. 
600 seems like a, uh, a large number, but it's actually just... Yeah, just over there. That's actually really neat. I know I used actually way more than I needed to in that last sentence, but... I'm pretty hyped because it's we're, we're very close. There's the ruin over there. Oh, and it seems like our adventure's at an end. It probably doesn't. It probably seems a tad underwhelming on video, but I was travelling for a good. Well, I think I think I've been travelling for a good two hours. It's taken me two hours to get back finally. Yep. So here we are, back in town. The sheriff is back in town. No, anyway. Um. So I was going to do one other thing this episode instead of just wandering around aimlessly. Wandering around aimlessly was for off camera, but it just got way too um interesting not to show at least some of it. Uh, but we'll do what I was planning to do this episode, next episode, and maybe one or two other things, who knows. But, thank you very much for watching, as the sun sets on our world for another day. Remember the coordinates, 0, 2000, I need to remember that, 0, 2000. It's not 2000, 0, 0, 2000. Thank you for watching, I'll see you later.